So we are going to see ReactJS. Um, I already told you ReactJS is a framework we can able to we can easily to create a enterprise application uh, from the small application any kind of application we can able to ReactJS. I will tell you how to do that and why we need to choose a ReactJS. So we will see in the call. And uh, when talking about ReactJS, how to do it? Oh, so when when we when we try to introduce some of the framework or library to others, it should have some positive or negatives, right? So ReactJS have the huge amount of positives, but some amount of negatives as well. So why we need to choose ReactJS? ReactJS uh, is a library. It's not a it has a full fledged framework. It's just a library. So for, from the developer point of view, we can easily customize and we can easily reuse. Uh, to create a customized component, what are things we want, we can able to easily create with the help of ReactJS. And so first of all, what is React? I already told you, this is a this is a tool to create a user interface, which 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 will give us the benefit of the interacting with browsers easily. For example, if you are going to create a HTML page, normal HTML page, there you are using script script tag. Inside the script tag, you are writing the JavaScript functions, right? But at that time, you can't directly interact with the uh, HTMLs, right? For example, uh, one of you share share the screen and you are updating the name. At that time, you should disturb the DOM, right? So you need to do get document element and you need to replace the inner HTML or the text you need to change. So that that is not completely help us. So that is a bit confusing or bit difficult to uh, over over the particular DOM HTML elements. But when talking about React, React is a shadow DOM. So that's a big advantage. We don't need to re keep on refreshing the page. We Whenever we do the changes at that time, shadow DOM, it automatically update and it will reflect into the browser. And one thing, the particular data is not persist always until unless we, we are storing somewhere. For the storing purpose, we can use uh, local storage, session storages, and some of the storages there, or else we can directly use APIs uh, to store the database. But for the React, it, it can easily shake the tree. We can uh, ReactJS can easily update the particular DOM elements. I will tell you how to do the templating, how to update the particular elements, particular variables with the help of React. Instead of uh, where, when compared to normal JavaScript application, Definitely, React application uh, uh, have huge amount of speed, and the build directory is very, very less uh, less amount of MBs or KBs. And we, obviously, we can create a reusable things. Uh, if it is a normal HTML page, we need to create uh, the headers, right? We are uh, we have uh, menus and uh, we have the logos in the top of the layer. If you want the same layer in another page, at that time we can't use. Uh, the common function. We need to again copy and paste in the another HTML files. So that is the duplication of the codes for the entire application. But in ReactJS, we can create a separate component for the same thing. We can use again and again wherever we need. So why React? As I told you, uh, most of the web applications nowadays are the real world, uh, real time data. They are interaction. Uh, they are interacting with real real world data, right? For example, when you're talking about Facebook, at that time, uh, you and your friend are chatting and uh, he sent one message and you receive that message before in between the time, he typed there and you get the dot 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 that uh, he typing like that, that uh, real world information you can able to fetch from your end. Obviously the API will help, but React is help more than that. And uh, you're on the home page uh, in the Facebook at that time, and they, uh, when others posting some post and uh, it keep on updating the top of the layer, when you are you are uh, you are in the two post, uh, you are currently you are in the after two post, but the others post extra ten post, then the auto auto uh, scroll back to the top. At that time, we can pull back the latest results. Those kind of functionalities we can easily build with React when compared to the normal HTML files, and obviously. Uh, React is so fast, super fast, and we can easily scale our application. They, uh, most of the enterprise applications start start from um, very minimum functionalities, and uh, 
after some time they are trying to expand their functionalities their application uh, features so at that time some of the frameworks is not support but in react is a customized library so we can able to easily scale and it's a super simple to create uh, other uh, components uh, implementing the functionalities and everything we can do and in react side uh, this is a mvc pattern this is model view controller and uh, here controller will act as a model as well which means mvm pattern so we can we can customize we can rebuild our template as well in the react so the big thing is jsx pattern so jsx pattern is nothing but uh, the combination of javascript and html so if we if we able to write both things in a single place that's called jsx pattern you will see uh, after some time uh, how the JSX, jsx pattern works how actually react help to uh, render the jsx and how to do uh, the other operations with the help of jsx so jsx is very uh, a flexible thing and that is uh, one of the advantage from the react js side and these are the important li important links so if you want to get the latest uh, latest updates from the react then you need to check reactjs.org that is the official website for react js so whatever you have the queries about react js if you want to check the old version and the latest version features then you can obviously you need to go react js official website and uh, whenever you get uh, some errors at that time you want to clarify that obviously you need to check this place uh, react uh, github repository this is the link for that github.com slash facebook slash here everybody know facebook is the owner of react they their community is actually creating the base of react and nowadays most of the javascript developer jump into react and they are contributing for to build the react js library better than better and uh, these are the some sample application built with uh, react so most of the application we regularly used like facebook whatsapp and uh, netflix these these three application definitely everybody using day by day and rest of the applications may may or may not be known but uh, in the salesforce side lot of uh, lot of companies working dropbox airbnb is a big company in the world and atlassian most of the companies using this atlassian Uh, to store their uh, files, so kind of a source control, and Cloudflare, a big company in the server side, and BBC, a big news company, Twitter and Reddit. So most of the big company, uh, giant companies are using React JS. Why? Because the speed, the performance, the build, the simplicity. That's the reason these kind of big companies using React JS. And so when when you start working on react so what are the prerequisites we need from the software side we need to install node uh, obviously you can install the recommended node version in your laptop it may in any kind of platform you may be windows or mac or uh, linux you need to install node with a recommended version and from the programming side uh, basic knowledge of javascript that's enough and html css for the styling purpose and doing the uh, some visualization in the browser and So these are the basic things. Uh, let's get jump into uh, creating the application and uh, start working on that. So let me go to the terminal. So here we from this command. So this is npx. This is not npm. What is npx? Npx is a part of Node. We can uh, we can customize the but uh, current version of Node. For example. In the node side, they are releasing uh, node 14, 10, 11. So they they have multiple variety of uh, versions. But uh, from uh, in our office, we we may work different kind of projects. Some of the applications are the legacy application. Some of the application we are going to create from the scratch. At that time, uh, at least we need uh, we need to uh, we need to install the particular node version for the specific application, right? If it is a scratch project, obviously we can use the recommended version, which means the latest or uh, uh, the most supported version. If it is a legacy application or the old application, at that time we need to use the specific version of the node. Some of the applications may uh, may already build with the node version 10 at that time. We need to install node version 10. So when 
when you want to switch one node version to another node version you need to install the uh, node virtual machine called nvm and uh, by that by that help you can uh, switch the particular node version onto another so this is command npx create react app my app my app is your app name so let me uh, create the first app for temper class so create react app this create react app is a command to create the react application which is directly created from the uh, facebook react repository and that will help us to download the boilerplate code for the react js and here i am putting uh, react course so this is my react course this is my project name when we click enter it will start downloading from the particular git repository so you can see it it, it start downloading the required packages so these packages we can see after some time in the script uh, in the package.json file so here you can see uh, installing packages the main packages are react react dom and react scripts so these three things uh, help us to communicate with the browser so react dom i already told you react is working with the shadow dom which means react have the separate dom this is not actual dom from the browser which means whenever you are uh, randomly you are opening any of the website and right click and go to the elements there you can see the html tree structure that html tree structure and the on the right hand side we have the css elements part the console part everything running under the uh, dom so that dom is directly communicate with our engine so by that by the help of that dom only engine can easily grab the data so what things we need to compile what things we need to visualize so that thing uh, here react is break but because we don't need to disturb the actual dom we have the our own react term so we by the help of react term we can directly communicate with the engine and uh, that's the reason react is working super fast compared to other applications so yep okay, it's going to complete yeah so we complete uh, we successfully create our our first application that by this command you need to create your own application and after that what we need to do for running our application we need to run npm start for build our application we need to run npm run build for test our test our application we need to run npm test okay so first we will jump into the, our application so cd react course and I enter there and after that i'm opening a uh, visual studio code so it's opening here so this is the boilerplate react application so for that i will explaining how the architecture is have uh, the react is have so this is the root directory so we have the package.json package.json is nothing but it have the what are the packages are already installed so i just opening here so we all know dependencies what are the dependencies uh, it's need for the application so uh, as i i already told react and react dom and react scripts these three are uh, help us to uh, easily communicate with the browser actually these three things the react framework react library so rest of them are the testing side and the last one web beetles this for this is the package help us to uh, communicate with the browser it will give the production build it will create the uh, mims for us uh, during the development so this is script script is nothing but uh, th these are the scripts will help us to run the application build the application and test the application and uh, the rest of the things we will we will see uh, in upcoming sessions package log json uh, is nothing but what are the packages we are installed here this everything available here with the detailed uh, information so uh, the particular package download from where so what is the current version what is the upcoming version what are the dependencies for this package those information is available here okay fine and uh, so the main part is uh, what are the packages we are installed everything available in the node modules and uh, this is public directory public directory 
uh, is the main important thing here we need to put our logo our manifest json and everything we need to put here uh, inside that we have the index.html so from this file actual react application is started this is the first file when the application is initiated right so obviously each and every application even though it's a normal html or uh, any kind of big framework obviously everything started from the index.html so here directly jump into the body tag we have the id root so here they are not right much uh, much much amount of customers they just declared on div and with id of root so this id root will help us to render the entire application i will tell you how to render the entire application to this root and if we have index.html definitely we should have index.js or because this is right react js right so where where that uh, index.js that is available inside the src folder so here we have index.js i am opening here so these are the import sections like uh, react on react dom it's very important and after that uh, this is a render section so as i told the entire application needs to render within the root for that we are using the normal javascript code document.get element by id root this root is available inside index.html right so we are rendering we are creating the new root and store it in normal variable right this is called this is normal javascript code and we are creating the root and we store into the normal one variable that's a constant variable as i told we can't able to overwrite after some time that's a constant variable that's the reason here they are using constant there is only one root for the entire application that's the reason they are using constant and after that we have the we have the root and within the root we have the empty things so we need to render the html files we need to showcase something we need to do some functional functional things we need to do some navigation everything we need to do so for that we have the custom component called app app is nothing but app.js here we can see so that is imported here we don't need to we don't need to put app.js like this it automatically take dot slash app dot js extension is auto reader auto readable from the react js side and this is a class name or function name okay so this is the way to render the actual application so i just jump into app so this is app.js and here uh, from the react js side they they give some boiler plot code so how to run this application uh, go to package run json check the script what are the scripts there to run this application we need to run the start for that i am opening the terminal and here npm start you can use npm or you can directly use react scripts start anything you can use it's up to your wish so what are the scripts here we have what are the scripts here we have we can directly run with npm npm start if we want to run uh, build npm build like that we can directly call the things so now i'm going to start the application so npm start so it takes some time uh, for the compilation of the files what are the files available in src directory and public directory then it will start the development server developer server is nothing but uh, that will create a local host server for us like when php and some of the applications how they are creating the local host in a similar manner react js also create a separate local host server for its own so here we can see we have the local server local host 3000 the default port of react js is 3000 we if you want we can change uh, with the tag hyphen hyphen port is equal to we can give the customized port and here we have the uh, your network like uh, what is the current network we are using with the help of that you can connect your other devices you can directly run this port run this you are uh, run this ip address and along with the port the similar local host application will run your mobile or your other laptops okay i will jump into browser so here we can see the normal react js application right so uh, this is a normal boiler plot code so how to modify that 
So for that, Abra J is here. Delete everything and test. About the browser. So here we can see test. Put H1. So you can see. So what are the changes we did? We need to refresh the page again and again like HTML. It automatically uh, compile. So what, for example, here I am changing test testing, and I save again. You can see again the compilation is going, and once the compilation done, it will back to the normal thing, and we can go the browser. The update is available for us. Right. So back to the slide. So in this slide, as we, as I told, uh, React create React app. There is a command help us to create the new application. So to run the application, we need to use npm start. Okay. So hello world application just now we created. So how to do that and everything I shown you. And so as a developer, as a React developer, we have some regular routines uh, that are uh, developing the application and executing, uh, running the uh, functions, functional things, and the application. Everything we need to do, and then. But what we need to do, we need to build the application. We need to give the build so we need to give the build files to the server team, and they will host for us. And finally, debugging. Debugging is a very important uh, skill for each and every developer. So let let, uh, let me show how to debug the things. So in the browser. So inspect this. So if we want to debug something. First of all, I will be explaining what things here. So elements, elements is nothing but the combination of HTML tree and the CSS file, CSS side things. So these are the HTML tags. This is a tree structure. So each and every HTML tags available here. Whatever we we written in the particular JavaScript file or in the HTML file. And in the right hand side, we have the styles. So styles is nothing but CSS files or uh, less, less file or uh, styles file everything will available here after the compilation and computer computer is something but uh, this is actually uh, the particular elements margin border padding the actual element everything we can see here we can with the help of this thing we can uh, write CSS and this is the layout uh, what this is for customizing things and event listeners uh, yesterday we seen right uh, in the JavaScript side we have the n amount of events so all the events here. So here uh, here we are uh, currently we have only one tag for that here the document selection change and the uh, window. So these two things are the default things. So if we keep on adding the lessons events then it automatically updated here. And DOM breaking points. So this is very important. So for the debugging. So I'm directly jump into source, right? In the source, we can directly get Abra JS file here. And what are the code we are writing in the uh, Visual Studio code? We can see here, and also we can add debugging debugging point here. So when you click in the right hand side, it will open the arrow, and in the right hand side, you can see breaking points. In Abra JS line number six and seven, exactly the same. And what I do, what I do. I just refresh the page and the debugging is enabled and the particular the first debugging point is pointed into the line number six and in the breaking point side this is highlighted here right you can see the yellow yellow color highlight so it will uh, it will directly jump into this line or because the debugging point is added so by the help of this debugging point we can find what is the values available for the specific uh, variable I will show how to debug in the uh, dynamic uh, functions and what is the current value and available in there. The, uh, with the help of this debugger, he, the, as a developer, we can easily uh, find the bug and we can easily fix the bug. This is not not only for ReactJS, this is for the entire application irrespective of the framework and the language. And clicking on next and it will go fine. So this is the way the uh, developer needs to be working. And uh, the rest of the things are network. Network is nothing but uh, what are the files we are fetching from the server. 
here we are using local server so when we reload the page at that time it will it will show us local host is the server and it will it's the actual base url uh, this is the first very firstly the server will invoke and refill once the server is available then we can able to download all the files from the server and here we can see the build.js file nothing but uh, it's in every line we are writing the uh, react.js application it will come convert everything as a build and it will give back to the browser so we can see this is the actual build file right so we don't know we don't uh, understand the build file exactly this is from the react.js side they have the separate uh, building engine and they are converting the entire source code into the single file called build.js and this build.js file is actually communicate actually sent to the browser uh, engine and uh, the browser engine will run this application run this js file instead of the actual html and this is a uh, favicon uh, which is available in the top of the layer um, manifest json everybody knows uh, so far we are not disturbing manifest json in upcoming session if we need uh, we can disturb the manifest json and this is our logo uh, yep yeah, this is the actual uh, the default react js logo okay back to the slide so this is uh, my suggestion uh, to to you people so when you start developing at that time you need to i suggested visual studio code is a super cool id uh, with the help of that you can easily write uh, your code and that suggestion is default and for for especially for react redux and react native you can install this snippet you can see in my ide i have also installed the same thing right i install the package i install the particular uh, extension es es7 plus react and redux what is the use of this this is nothing but uh, it will help us to uh, uh, we don't need to uh, type much things if we if we start typing and it will give the multiple suggestion we can pick from there instead of typing like this yep so like this so if you are if you are going to create a separate component at that time it will help you to create for you let me show here so here i new js if we want to create a new component new function component at that time react create functional component and export so here this is a suggestions the right hand side you can see import react from react we it will create a function for us and it will export for us so this is a uh, the default templating uh, from the extensions which i referred you so if we click it will automatically create a new component only thing whatever the function name we need can directly type and it will automatically update the record places after that you can you can change in the body so this is the uh, this is super cool extension to the developers it will improve the productivity it will reduce the time for us okay so go back to the screen and the next one i introduced the extension the browser side or uh, i suggested google chrome i hope most of the people is using google chrome for <coughs> for black in uh, we have uh, redux dev tools as well as in the react side uh, as well as we have the react plugin i will show you where so this is my browser so you can see in the top in the right hand side redux so it will help us to uh, find what things what, what things actually going on in the redux side so currently we are not working the redux so in upcoming sessions we will use redux right if you want uh, react developer tools here so this is one of the famous react developer tools so from here you can see the components what are the components we are created what is the structure of that let me show to chrome extension yep. so here we can see components and the profiles so in our application we have a only app component so that's what it's showing only one component here if we have multiple components it will keep on showing like this app or profile something and in the right hand side we have the what are the props for app and uh, are rendered by which one 
so we are we are using create root so that's what uh, we are defining in the index.js file that is also it's showing in the source so we can see uh, it's in everything here with the help of this particular extensions we can easily uh, to the debug keys and profilers profilers is nothing but uh, it will help us to the states what things are available uh, the local component state everything it will be available so far we don't have any states so it's just a boilerplate code so in upcoming session we will look into the components and the profilers and the react redux as well right so these are the extension uh, do your side just to install the ide and browser extensions and uh, uh, be prepared your side and try to create your own application with a boilerplate code if you want you can modify the average file whatever you want